Hey guys, it's Zia. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel for the first time. Hi, my name is Zia, and this is my little YouTube channel where I do multiple different things. Like, kind of like a little bit of everything, but not, not everything. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I make videos, okay? I really like shopping. Retail therapy is a thing. My bank account doesn't like it, but it's a thing. I do a lot of hauls. I do a lot of makeup. This is, this is what I do. So, if you guys are interested in seeing more of me, then uh, don't forget to subscribe down below or up above. I don't even know where the buttons are anymore. Are they changing things? I don't know. I have a few items here from Boohoo, and I am going to share them with you. Who? I'll just go. I'm back. I don't remember the prices that I paid for all this stuff, um, but I am going to link everything down below. Boohoo is pretty affordable and they are constantly having different types of sales. I do feel like their prices have gone up a bit and their sales aren't as good as they used to be because I used to go on there and it would be like 40% off, 50% off, and I would be able to get a bunch of things for under $100. And I still got quite a few things here, but, um, I think I paid more than I usually would have. So, without further ado, let's just get into the haul. All right, guys. So here is the first item, not the top, the bottoms. Let me adjust this. Here are these pants. They are some type of trousers from Boohoo, and they are very stretchy. They have plenty of room. I got this in a UK 18 US 14. The reason I got a 14 instead of a 16, which is my usual size, is because I thought that these were going to run a little bit big. I don't remember what gave me the idea that they were going to run big, um, but they do fit really, really well. So I am glad that I got a 14. Boohoo has this in so many colors. I think they have like 10 or 12 colors to choose from. There's black, red, olive, navy, mustard, khaki. I don't even count the khaki because unless you're working at Target, I don't know why you would wear khakis. Maybe if you work at Best Buy. I don't know. But I really do like these. They come right down to the ankle for me. There's a little tiny bit of bunching at the bottom, but that is to be expected, especially for somebody of my height. I'm about 5'3", five, 5'4". Five, Every time I check, it's somewhere in between the two. I really do like these pants. I got them because I wanted to um, use them for what, what was I about to call them? Oh, job interviews when I get to them. And I think that they will be really good um, to wear to job interviews. They look like trousers. They look really good. Um, and they feel very comfortable. They have really good pockets as well. Uh, the pockets aren't as deep as I would personally like them to be. And the next piece that I have for you guys is this blazer. I have been looking for a long sleeve blazer that doesn't have crazy crazy shoulder pads i don't understand why we're still putting shoulder pads in things this is not the 80s okay or 70s or whenever arm shoulder pads came in to fashion please stop it i'm not trying to look like a freaking linebacker stop this is made in italy oh fancy this is a uk size 20 us size 16. I also don't remember how much this cost, but um, I think this was probably one of the more expensive options that I chose. I've just been looking for a decent blazer that had long sleeves so that my tattoos would be covered and also like something that was still breathable because I don't like it um, when I have to wear clothes that are very constricting. And especially if I'm going to a job interview, I'm trying to be confident, I want to show them that I am worth having this job, I'll be an asset once I get hired and do all this stuff, I won't be able to like show that I'm confident if I'm over here like, I can't move my arms. Eh. This one actually has no buttons, but it does have a tie waist. Now you can choose to take that off completely and just have it be an open blazer. But one of the things that I thought was really cute is that when you tie it, it's actually asymmetrical. And usually I don't like asymmetrical items. But this one is actually really, really cute. I really, really like it. It's very comfortable. I feel very professional and sophisticated without feeling constricted. All right, guys, here's the next piece. I really, really love the color. Now, this is a jumper dress um, in the size US 16, UK 20. And I really love it. It feels very comfy. I definitely need to wash it because it's been sitting around for a minute <laughs> so it doesn't feel as clean 
as it should. However, um, it is a really, really nice sweater. Um, I do feel like after after a few months going through the wash, um, it might get a little itchy. It looks really nice. It's really cute. The color is absolutely beautiful. However, the itchy factor I feel is going to become worse and worse over time. So I don't know about that. And the other problem is that this is supposed to be a jumper dress. So a sweater dress. Um, and it is extremely short, very short. Like if I bend over, oh yeah, everybody gonna see everything. No, no, no. <laughs> this is not long enough to be a dress. Even a mini dress? No. No, especially if you got a butt. If you if you got if you got a booty? No, 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 no. This is not going to work. Okay? It's not. Um, it's just way too short for myself. Um, for other people it might work out really well. But I'm on the shorter side and this is still really short on me. I got it in my regular size, size 16. Um, maybe if I had sized up to an 18, I would have had a few more inches to work with. Um, but if I do decide to wear this without leggings or without jeans, I would definitely wear a pair of shorts with this. Even though it's super cute, it's really short. Too short to be a decent dress for me to wear and feel comfortable in. Here I have another sweater dress for you guys, or a jumper dress. That's what they call it. I got my regular size, size 16 US, UK size 20, and it is ultra short, um, but regardless, it would be a really cute sweater. I really like um, the high neckline, and if I only had like maybe three more inches to work with, I would feel so comfortable wearing this as a dress. Like, it would be great. But um, I could like imagine myself wearing this with a pair of those, um, you know those biker shorts with the lace right up right under it at the at the hem is that what they call those biker shorts with the lace at the bottom you know what i'm talking about like i could imagine myself wearing these with a pair of black ones of those and like just having that peek out underneath um the sweater and i feel like that would be a really cute look just like this with a pair of sneakers i think it's adorable like i love it i think it's so cute i like it I like it a lot. The only problem is the booty poking out. That's the only issue. On to the last item I have for you, which I love. It does not go with this hair color, but I love it. Right guys, here is this dress. How adorable. Let me zoom you guys in. Okay, now I think you can see the whole thing. You see my legs? Yes, you can. All right, I love this dress. I love this dress so much. It's not for everybody because the vertical stripe thing, I think a lot of people get afraid of um, so many stripes. It's a lot of stripes. And the green and the white together is just so cute. It reminds me of those candy stripers. You know what I mean? Like you see in older movies and TV shows, they're like going through hospitals, I guess, and making people happy. And I, I think that's what they did. I don't know. <laughs> but I know what they looked like, you know? I just don't know what they did. Did they give out candy in hospitals? Because that seems counterintuitive. Like when you leave the dentist and they give you a lollipop. It's like, hey, we'll see you. Come back. Get some cavities. Great dress. It feels really comfy. They did miss the opportunity to put in some pockets though. Because pockets in this would have made it so much better. But like after I have it for a while, if I get really tired of not having pockets, I'll probably just like sew on some really cute ones. Put them like right here so that I can, you know, put my candy in there. Snack holes is what they're called, not pockets, snack holes. I got this in a US size 14, UK size 18. And the reason I got it in a size smaller than I usually would is because the last few times that I've gotten a dress that had this cut from Boohoo, it has been too loose around this area for me when I got it in my normal size. So I decided to size down so that it would be a little bit more fitted. Now, if the, um, if the waist was just like two inches lower, that would hit me at my narrowest point and it would like flare out a lot better. However, I'm in the process of losing weight. Okay, it's, it's gonna look really good later. All right guys, that is my whole haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below if you've not already. I've got new videos every week. So hope you guys stick around and hang out with me and watch those and 
yeah i don't know where i was going with that but yeah i hope you guys subscribe and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did then don't forget to give it a like and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys